Hey there, Jen here, and this is a happy bit. You know how we spend all this time going and running and doing and feeling frazzled and overwhelmed? Well, we need more fun, and I want to share some free fun that will actually leave your cup feeling filled rather than empty. But first, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Audiobooks are a great sidekick for summer activities like hiking, sunbathing on the beach, running, road tripping, and enjoying downtime outdoors more often. Audible has a huge selection of audiobooks I love, and you can fill your summer with some amazing books like Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown, which is all about our individual quest for belonging and having the courage to stand alone. The Power of Habit, which Whitney Hansen just talked about on the last episode this week. Excellent book if you want to have better habits for your morning routine. And of course, one of my all-time favorites, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. A great book if you want to overcome fear and be more creative and do the things you feel called to do in life. So many great books on Audible. You'll never run out of things to listen to. Audible is offering the listeners of Vibrant Happy Women a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com forward slash happy women and browse their huge selection of audiobooks and programs. You can download a free title and start listening right now. Go to audible.com forward slash happy women or text happy women to 500-500 to get started today. Again, that's A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com forward slash happy women or text the code happy women to 500-500 and get your free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. We have so many options on what we can do with our free time. And so the worst, scrolling through social media or surfing the web. Pointless. Why? Because it leaves us feeling even more drained and worse than before we started. Studies show that the more time we spend on Facebook, the more depressed we are. So forget that one. But free time, when we actually put the phone away and realize, hey, let's actually have some fun. Let's do something that makes us feel good, that fills our cups. So for me, when I think about cup fillers, and I want you to think about what your cup fillers are as I share mine. Uh, My cup fillers would be time in nature, hands down. It's just so soothing and energizing for me. And I recently spent time alone in Sedona and at the Grand Canyon. Oh, so nurturing, so amazing. You can tell I love nature. And then the other one is connection with other human beings where I'm listening and looking in their eyes and some physical touch might be involved, a hug or touching their arm that kind of connection where you feel a soul to soul connection, where you're sharing emotional intimacy. I love it. And that's probably why I love all of my small groups in the Vibrant Happy Women Club and in the Heal Your Heart program, because I get to see these women. Fine. We're not touching because we're doing it over a screen, but I get to see them and look in their eyes. And sometimes people cry and sometimes we laugh and it's just deep heart to heart connection. I love that stuff. So Let me ask you, do you have enough time for nature in your life? And are you creating enough time for those heart to heart, soul level connections with other human beings? So often we ignore both of those in favor of all the things we think we have to have our kids do piano lessons and soccer and swim lessons and play dates. And of course they need to spend time on the computer and video games. And we're missing all the important things that actually heal our hearts and make us feel so good. So in a moment, I'm going to share a few quick and easy free tips for adding more of that connection and nature time to your life. But also I think there's another valid way to have free fun and that is teaching yourself and your kids skills. And I was thinking, what skills do my kids need to have? (laughs) Well, they need to do better at cooking. They kind of are pretty good, I think, compared to many of their friends. I don't know. But they're not as good as I was as a child. (laughs) I grew up on a farm and I did tons of the cooking. And so I just want them to be better at that. It's a great skill, right? And that's one I'm happy to teach. In fact, just this morning, I helped my daughter make those gummy worm Oreo and pudding dirt cups. Um, If you don't know what those are, you actually mix chocolate pudding with whipped cream And then you stir in some crumbled up Oreos and then stir it together, plop it in some cups, add some more crumbled Oreos on top that look like dirt and then a gummy worm. It's so cute. She was making those for the market at her school where she gets to sell them for faux money, fake money that will buy her other prizes. It's a really cool thing they're doing to motivate them for the end of the school year in middle school. So cooking, I can do that. 
sewing, uh, I don't know. Some of you listening out there, I know you love to sew and knit and it's great and valid, but sewing is something that makes me want to stab my eye out. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I've just chosen to believe how much I hate it and I keep continuing to carry forth a story. Maybe if I forced myself and I visualized and tried, I could learn to love it, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm leaving sewing alone. In fact, I gave my daughter my sewing machine and she's 11 and <laughs> she's been trying to make patchwork quilts. So, hey, more power to her. And I don't know how she's going to finish them or put the stuffing in them or anything. I'm going to have to find someone to help her. I'm not teaching that skill. <laughs> Why? It drains me in such a way that within 15 minutes of it, I would be yelling at her. <laughs> okay, another skill, budgeting. You know, we've been talking about finances in the last two episodes. Yeah, I need to do better. This one, I need to do better. I'm going to analyze what that would mean, how I can do it in a way that fills my cup rather than drains my cup. I think because my husband is a very conscientious budgeter and financial guy, I'm going to delegate it. Hey, honey, can you make sure that they can do X, Y, and Z by this time next year? See if he can handle it. Now, he's not re really good at remembering those tasks that he's willing to do. So all I have to do is remind him that he agreed to do it and say, how's that coming <laughs> in a non nagging way. So yeah, that's what I want you to do. Think about what fills your cup truly. And if you're really genuine about this, it's going to be nature or connection to other people, or even if you're an introvert connection to yourself, where you enjoy that really calm, quiet with a book or journaling. And then what skills do you want to teach? That can be free fun painting. I love that. I think we're going to do some of that this summer, cooking, sewing, budgeting. What skills do you want to teach your kids or yourself? Okay. Back to those cup fillers, those free and easy, quick and easy, free, fun ideas. I wanted to share. I have five for you today. And the first one, look into someone's eyes for a full minute. You can make this a game with your whole family, set a timer and stare in each other's eyes. This is amazing. And they've done studies on this where they find People report feeling way more loving and connected just through staring in each other's eyes for a minute. And sadly, more and more in our society, this is absent because we're distracted by a phone or we're busy working on something else. And we barely take a moment to glance up at them, let alone stare in their eyes and connect. I did this with Cora and I noticed her eyelashes are rocking. They are thick and long and beautiful. I just love it. Okay, so look in someone's eyes for a minute. Go sit under a tree. Trees are powerful. Trees are really amazing energetic sources of whatever. Some people call them energetic beings, energetic giants. I don't know what I believe there, but I know it feels so good to sit under a tree. I once did a project in, I think, fourth grade where I collected leaves from all the trees in our neighborhood and stuck them in a sticky paged binder and it was so fun. And that's when I really developed an appreciation for trees, my favorite plant of all plants. Um, another one, grass therapy. Now I'm not talking marijuana, <laughs> but I am talking lying on the grass in your yard and just imagining all your stress soaking down into mother earth. Yes, it's earthy. Yes, it's huggy, tree huggy. It's kind of granola, but try it out. It is the fastest way to relieve stress and just feel so nurtured and held by the earth. Lie in the grass with the child or alone and see how you feel. Third one, go on a hike. We have some great hiking in our neighborhood because we live along what's called the Ice Age Trail. When the glaciers were in our area, they came down right adjacent to our property, essentially. And to the north of where our property is, they left a certain type of terrain that's more hilly and rocky. And then to the south of where we are, it's a totally different type of terrain. So we can hike that Ice Age Trail because our state has created a border there where you can actually hike the entire width, kind of the entire length of that Ice Age 